Good morning, folks. I'd love to tell you the bad weather is withering, but whether you believe it or not, you're going to weather some more. Top science news coming, too, and we're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours were relatively calm, bright region beginning to depart, coronal holes entering center longitudes, then a bit of brightness at the end. Let's flip color return to see the dark blue magnetic fields of that small and failing sunspot group as it turns away. Overnight, another one popped up center disk and began crackling. No solar flares from this little guy either, but we will monitor him for further development today. Solar wind here, completely dropping out and hitting low intensity marks, which are driving extended quiet in Earth's geomagnetic field as we watch those KP zeros line up. And we've got cosmic rays in the outlook. Next solar wind intensification is due near the end of the weekend when the stream from these coronal holes arrives at Earth. Meanwhile, we began magnetically connecting to them yesterday and the seismic alert remains high again today with the uptick beginning slowly in Kamchatka near the floor of the crust. We're coming to weather next where Chilean berry crops took a beating from a freak hailstorm near total losses there. Flooding situation in the Middle East has not improved. 30 dead in Saudi Arabia, they're not sure how many are gone in the other regions. Kuwait had to shut down flights as the nation is basically paralyzed. Record cold and record snow continuing to fall in the United States, not just in the central states anymore either. For many, it feels like an Ice Age version of November, and that leads us into our story of the day. Scientists have confirmed the great impact in Greenland, discovering a massive crater sitting a kilometer beneath the ice. The bottom of the ice only traces back to the last Ice Age, with nothing earlier and only a tiny fraction of the crater ice from that time, making this impactor potentially coming 12,000 to 13,000 years ago. The crater is 30 kilometers across and could be the famed impactor that many in this community believe rocked the world towards the end of the last ice age. Opposite side of the scale, the arid core of the Atacama Desert. It hadn't seen rain in 500 years until the last three years, what was not expected was the complete decimation of the microbial life in that region of the desert. What was thought to be a life bringer washed the land clean of even the smallest creatures. Interesting paper out about the observations of triple the expected ocean water being pulled below at fault lines. This hints at a greater recycling profile for Earth's water and also reminds us of those stories of massive reserves of water hiding in the mantle. Something to keep an eye on is the sodium guide star measurements of Earth's magnetic field. They've only just proved the merit of the process thus far, but they do plan to study the field and the processes of space weather with them. Our local stellar neighborhood is not tremendously populated, but it has provided some noteworthy science. Today we're at Barnard's Star, where the discovery of a super-Earth has just been announced. Being the second closest star system to our own, it is a great study candidate, by the next ice age, it will have moved to be the closest star system to us. The super-Earth is thought to be rocky and larger than Earth, potentially as large as a mini-Neptune. And they say it is a cold place, colder than Mars, with a nine-month orbital period and an atmosphere. Further study will reveal characteristics of that atmosphere via spectroscopy. I do wish I could visit. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Don't forget, you only have until November 19th to register for the conference if you want to be entered in to win all four nights of your stay free at the venue hotel. We got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.